Alright, so this is technically part 3 out of 3, but you don't need to have seen the last parts because it's literally just making stuff, but go watch that anyways because I need views. So, part of my design for this sword was to include eyes indented into the blade, so I trace and cut out the shape of where they need to be. I sand the smooth side of the cardboard so the glue can stick well to it. I cut out the pieces of paper to trace onto the cardboard, since it's easier to trace the shape of the indent onto the paper rather than the cardboard. I have to trim down the pieces of cardboard a bit more since their shape came out a bit off. I'm going to layer a bunch of pieces of cardboard together to give it the depth and shape that I need. The eyes have a sort of terraced shape from all the layers of cardboard, so they have to get sanded down. However, I didn't sand them that well, so I cover them with paper to sort of cover up the layers. I wipe some glue onto the paper so that when the paper gets sanded, the fibers don't get ripped up as much. I'm going to keep sanding them down with higher grits of sandpaper until there's no layering visible and it has a really fine and smooth texture. After using each grit, I coat it in glue again to glue back down the loose fibers ripped up from sanding it with a grit too low. It's really annoying to hold on to the tiny little eyes, so I glue them onto sticks to make it much easier to be able to hold and work on them.
Since all the indents were slightly different shapes, I labeled them in the backs of the eyes with a letter to know where to glue which one. I glue on little pieces of painted paper as eyelids. I use a pair of tweezers to put it in place and only put the glue where I actually want it to be glued down. The glue goes on the bottom of the back side, so I don't get any glue on the eye, but I can still, you know, have glue on it. I keep adjusting the positioning of it a little bit until it's correct. Once I start to glue them all down, I decide to try and push the eyelids inward a bit so it covers the eye a bit more, kind of like an actual eyelid, but I didn't really like that, so I just undid it. Now that the eyes are glued in, before I do finishing touches to them, I'm going to add another detail to the handle. This wasn't originally planned, but the spots where the handle end are pretty messy, so I add a sort of cap to them. It also helps to shorten the handle because it's supposed to be more of a one-handed sword since the blade is short, but you can fit two hands on the handle, so it just kind of helps with the scale and stuff a little bit. I quickly touch up some of the spots of light gray on the crossguard that got kind of messed up, and then I go back to the handle. In order to make the very end a bit cleaner, I'm going to glue a little piece of paper onto it to cover up the layers from wrapping the cap on and the unevenness that was already there. I press it on to make it as flat as possible. Because the wrap was multiple layers thick, there's a difference in height where it was cut and stopped being wrapped on. I glue on a little piece of paper there to cover it up a bit and make it less noticeable. I paint all the little pieces of paper I added to have it be the same color. Plus, putting on the paint also tends to cover up some of the smaller changes in height and make it look a bit smoother, which is good for the small pieces of paper I glued on. Next, I go back to the eyes to do touch-ups on some things. On a lot of the eyelids, there's a gap between the eyelid and the blade of the sword, so I add a bit more paint to fill it in a little bit. I also use a slightly darker color for it because the eyelids are a bit darker, so it helps to sort of transition between the two, and it just looks cooler, I guess. I then add a bit of darker paint to the edges of the eyelids, once again, because it just kind of looks cool, and I painted it with a slightly more jagged look. This is the very last thing that I did, so the sword's done now. Alright, so it'll probably be about two months until the next project videos come out, but I still want to make a couple of other videos in the meantime. So if you have suggestions or opinions, please put that in the comments or any feedback on these videos. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video! This would be where I ask you to subscribe and like, so uh, do that. Or else. Anyway, have a great day, and try not to accidentally stab yourself.